Pardon the pun, but the relatively short career of Alexa Bliss has seen her accomplish more than the average WWE superstar. In many ways, her diminutive five feet of fury stature hasn't defined her role as a performer or limited the outsized success she's had since joining the main roster in 2016. Musically speaking, the goddess of the WWE has undergone quite a few shocking personality changes that have required some debatable edits to her entrance songs. This documentary will chronicle Little Miss Bliss's career thus far and also take a special look at the music that made the woman. From a fairy to the fury, let's take a look behind the themes of Alexa Bliss. With a unique athletic background that included time spent as a competitive champion bodybuilder as well as an all-star cheerleader, Bliss was super active growing up just outside of Columbus, Ohio. But one of her first true passions, sorry Ryan Cabrera, has always been professional wrestling or sports entertainment or whatever the heck you want to call it. Being a fan of legends like Trish Stratus and Rey Mysterio Jr., Alexa jumped on the old internet back in the day when you could apply on WWE.com to be a wrestler got a call back and nailed her tryout to be chosen as a new member of the latest NXT Performance Center recruiting class back in 2013. Now before Bliss, whose real name is Lexi Kaufman, had even made her full debut on NXT, she was granted the opportunity to stand under the glitz and glamour of the showcase of the immortals, WrestleMania, alongside Sasha Banks, Charlotte Flair, and the King of Kings himself, Triple H. But soon enough, she would be back to work at the PC in Orlando, Florida, hashing out her initial gimmick of, wait for it, a fairy princess. Now with NXT being basically next door neighbors with Disney World, at first glance the pint sized pixie would have probably been a better fit as a cast member working at the Magic Kingdom or something, right? Skipping to the ring with the song Bling Bling bellowing from the rafters? Well it wasn't long before the music group CFO Dollar Sign would create a new in-house entrance theme for Bliss, who in the meantime just had to learn to keep calm and sparkle on during her rookie year. Glitter, glitz, sparkle, bliss. As the self-proclaimed Glitter Queen of NXT, who allegedly graduated from the University of Glitz with a major in bedazzling? Okay. The modern-day Tinkerbell tapped into the sparkly side of her personality, and although she was a natural, natural, at being really cute and blowing glitter everywhere, it eventually turned out that all that glitters was not gold. The babyface Bliss, tangled up with blue highlights and a big smile, was not a superstar meant to break the mo-woad. And although she packs a lot of punch, into a small frame. Unfortunately, her Tinkerbell gimmick was more like Tinker Smell. <sighs> Barely making a sparkle splash and obviously failing to connect with the older Smart Mark NXT audience. Now forced to reassess her career and make changes, the realization was that a heel turn is what was needed. Standing alongside Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy, the NXT Tag Team Champions at the time, Bliss became a whole new person as their manager. After being presented as so pure and sweet, her attire, her entrance, and her overall demeanor changed dramatically and it was crazy to see just how natural natural of a bad girl alexa was rotten to the core and full of might and spite With a new amped up remix version of her original CFO dollar sign track, the fierce, fearless, and full of attitude Five Feet of Fury proved that she could be a success in an era where much of the credit for the rise of the WWE's women's division had been focused on the four horsewomen. Woo! And don't you think all that recognition being floated around elsewhere is due to make someone become, oh, I don't know, a little bit spiteful perhaps? Rapidly rising ahead of Blake and Murphy as the biggest star in that trio, thanks to her excellent mic work and improvements inside the squared circle, Bliss became one of six members of NXT to be drafted as part of the WWE's brand extension in 2016. Alexa quickly made an undeniable imprint on the women's division as the Wicked Witch of the WWE WWE was the first woman to win both the SmackDown Women's Championship and the Raw Women's Championship. Thrust straight into the spotlight, Bliss became one of the best villains on the roster, making the most of her moment and of any and every role she was given, regardless of how good or bad the booking was. Either way, life was nothing but blissful for Alexa until...
Got to tip my hat here because Alexis basically had the same song since her NXT debut, but Def Rebel unleashed the fury and their remix of this theme is some straight Skrillex fire. One of the few bright spots from the COVID-19 pandemic era of the E was the slow burn main event rise that Bliss began in the Thunderdome, brother, by first shedding her partnership with Nikki Cross and then evolving into the sinister and supernatural Harley Quinn of wrestling. Look, we all know that Little Miss Bliss can be beautiful and sweet when she wants to, but looks can be deceiving as the twisted Bliss side of her personality is someone who is capable of being quite lethal and dangerous. I mean, just ask Randy Orton. Now, Alexa was a good person until she fell under some sort of spell and became not only captivated, but also corrupted by Bray Wyatt and The Fiend. As her character developed in front of virtual fans who were prompted when to cheer and when to boo, it was hard to gauge if this creepier version was getting over or not. These kinds of gimmicks in this day and age are polarizing to say the least. But as always, Alexa is a solid actress and does a great job in her role. But it just so happens that it's a role a lot of fans don't enjoy being a part Part of a wrestling show, which is what we all found out in the wake of her portrayal of The Fiend at WrestleMania 37 and subsequent Summer of Suck when Wyatt was future endeavored. It's extremely difficult to try and listen to this track without wincing at its over-the-top attempts at being scary, because it ain't, really. I mean, this theme would perfectly fit Bliss if she were featured in a Halloween parade at her favorite place, Disney World, but instead, it's excruciating nonsense from the apparent POV of Alexa's nonsensical alter ego. The evil is mine, the darkness has arrived, step into my black eyes and meet your demise might just be the most juvenile lyrics in any wrestling theme song on this planet. With zero follow-up after WrestleMania and without Wyatt by her side, Bliss still soldiered on with the supernatural gimmick and with Alexis Playground becoming her version of the Firefly Funhouse. But how could we not cover the introduction of the most wrestle-craptastic puppet since Rocco rode on Paul Ellering's handlebars during SummerSlam 92? Of course, we're talking about her evil little doll, Lily, who through the magic of wrestling grade CGI, occasionally winks, which was just enough to put old wrestling fans over the edge and walk out of Raw, allegedly. However, while perhaps this was the most poorly received portion of her career, Alexa can be heard laughing all the way to the bank because her descent into a darker, infantilized version of herself translated into big money and no whammies. After reports that Bliss and Lily sold more merch than any other WWE star not named Stone Cold Steve Austin or John Cena, I just hope someone called up Nick Jackson to let him know that there's a new merch freak in town. Alexa Bliss is one of the few female wrestlers to establish herself as a top name and consistently credible champion. From a fairy princess to the female fiend, Little Miss Bliss personality twists and turns have made it difficult to capture her in one song, which is why her career thus far has been a virtual playground of musical swings with some occasional misses. Mm -hmm.